My name is Sabrina Spencer and I'm a graduate student in Peter Serger's lab in the Department of Systems Biology at Harvard Medical School. We found that not all cells that are genetically identical respond identically to treatment with a new cancer drug called TRAIL. By filming cells using live cell microscopy after treatment with this drug, we could see that some cells die in response to the treatment at various times, while some cells actually survive. The cells that survive go on to divide happily and replenish the population, seemingly unaffected by treatment with the drug. First, I'll show you a Brightfield movie of cancer cells just growing happily in a dish. You can see them here dividing, rounding up and dividing at various points. And now in the second movie, I will show you cells that have been treated with this drug. And I want to emphasize that they're genetically identical cells. This is a uniform environment, so you would actually expect them all to do the same thing. But what we find is that some die, those are these ones rounding up like popcorn, while other ones survive and go on to divide happily. You can see these rounding up and dividing. They're seemingly unaffected by the drug. So we wanted to look inside the cells at the machinery to figure out what might be different in cells that live and cells that die. We hypothesize that slight differences in the abundance of proteins from cell to cell might be involved. So here we can demonstrate this possibility. We see six cells that have differing levels of a protein involved in cell death. Three that have higher, much higher levels and three that are dim and have much lower levels. So we can actually monitor these same six cells in a different channel here in red with a reporter that monitors a critical event in cell death and you'll see that this reporter goes from being localized in the mitochondria to diffuse, and this is a, a critical point in the death process, the point of no return. And at the end of this movie, you can see that these three cells that had brighter levels of the green protein die, whereas the three that had dimmer levels survive. So this is demonstrating how different levels of proteins from cell to cell can actually have an influence on the fate of the cell.